Queensland Police Service and, and, and the resources of all emergency services in Queensland are currently focused on the Toowoomba and Lockyer Valley area where we have had unprecedented flash flooding uh, late yesterday into this morning. Uh, we have put out warnings to all residents in that area to move away from creeks uh, and certainly not to drive through flooded waters. There is uh, two uh, Ford Command posts set up at both Withcott at the bottom of the Toowoomba Range and Grantham, which is a small community uh, near Gatton. Uh, we have police operating in those areas at the moment, uh, undertaking search and rescue activities. We have uh, people that we know are surviving and evacuated to higher ground in both those communities, uh, but uh, we are preparing to undertake a full search and rescue of the entire Lockyer Valley uh, Creek and River system to determine whether or not there are other casualties of what has been a very, very tragic event. Uh, we have uh, police on standby to go into the area as well as uh, new SES teams uh, who have skills in search and rescue. We have uh, large contingents of specialist officers to come in behind them in terms of forensic examinations and investigation, uh, which will no doubt be on behalf of the coroner. Certainly the Murphy's Creek area and the Grantham area are the two focus of the devastation that we're dealing with this morning. Uh, the, uh, the flood waters in the area in Toowoomba uh, have subsided and we have checked all motor vehicles and business premises that were affected. Uh, we do not believe that there will be further deaths reported in the Toowoomba area at this stage, but um, we have at least 72 people who are confirmed as missing persons uh, in the rest of that Lockyer area and our focus will be to follow up on each one of those taskings as the weather and resources permit. Our initial focus will be with the survivors, um, ensuring their safety. Our secondary focus will then be the follow-up search for any uh, further deceased persons.